Hi folks, I am going to make a film for patient education. The film is about how a dental crown is made and I will show every step in the manufacturing of it. I thought it was a good idea to show you every production step in this film in several episodes so you can see how I did it and you hopefully have some helpful comments. I am not a pro and every advice is most appreciated. The episodes will not follow the order of an original dental treatment, that's why this episode is about the impression of the teeth and the preparation of one tooth that shall be crowned. I decided to use a dental model instead of showing the steps on a real patient, that could be scaring for non-dental professionals. Um, and uh, there is no color correction or editing so far, just out of the box and some cutting to shorten the length a bit. Before I started to set up the lighting, I wanted to do some framing to determine what I want to record and in which angle. In this case I decided to shoot from right above and to ignore the rule of thirds because there is no interesting background that could attract the audience. The attention is to be focused on the dental impression. I wanted the light to be as even as possible, so I decided for a classic three-point lighting. And here you can see how I set up it. I don't want to do any artistic light composition that would distract the viewer from the action. I placed the camera uh, right above the dental device and noticed some problems. First, there are reflections of the light sources on the surface of the desktop. And second, the color of the device and that of the desktop match perfectly and thus the impression device wouldn't separate enough. The solution was to place some colored paper sheets in front and laterally to cover the shiny surface and to separate the device from the desktop. The first takes that you have seen in the beginning, the paper sheets were sliding around. I fixed them with uh, some scotch tape and so they stayed in position. And finally I shot the take in a different angle. I used the same lighting setup as before to light the following scene of the tooth preparation. To make uh, the surface a bit more shiny I used very little Vaseline like agent and rubbed it over the artificial gums and teeth that makes it a bit more attractive to the viewer. I also used scotch tape and taped the model onto the blue paper sheets to prevent it from moving around. Now these were just two sets and many are to follow. I hope the following videos will be from any interest for you and please don't hesitate to make some comments uh, or advices uh, that would be very very helpful for me. Okay, so much for now. Thanks for watching and more is to come.